Hello everybody! Hello everybody! Welcome back! Oh my god, it has been a very, very, very shockingly exciting few episodes of Evil Genius these last uh, few episodes. Uh, we have uncovered all of the sweet treats of the game, uh, which is to say these fucking handguns. Holy shit. And this alarm system, what an absolutely sweet fucking treat. Because if we've got this on this Amber Alert, it's looking like now we can have all these guys walking around carrying guns, but at the same time they still get their jobs done building and working in the control rooms and stuff like that. Awesome. And we've also been trying to rock out these, um, uh, oh shit, trying to nail these acts of infamy in, uh, uh, ah, in, in Central Southern Asia and Northern Africa, which is also which has also been a sweet treat. Uh, hopefully we're trying to, s to, s to smuggle out Nigel, Nigel Ewing. And the next one that we're gonna go for is this one, Risk of Five. Jesus, you can tell it's a toughie because it's an actual picture of what you're trying to steal, which some, most of the other ones are like these generic stupid flags. That's, I mean, that's kind of my theory right now. I have no idea, oh shit, bump the microphone. I have no idea whether that is actually accurate or not, but, oh fuck, 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 pause. Look at these bad boys. Hey, bitches. Guess what? Hide. Hey, bitches. Guess what? Hide. Hide, hide. Hide, hide. Hide, hide, hide. Hide, 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 hide,
uh, as a compromise. Okay, let's let's beef this back out again. Oh, here comes the helix. Here comes the helix, everybody. Where? Well, you're going to uh, Africa, right? Beautiful. All right. Just the, as the second that the cop is gone, these guys show up. So let us go. Three, two, one, go. Initiating Banjo Kazooie radio silence. Nobody talk about Banjo Kazooie. Nobody think about Banjo Kazooie. Um, you'll notice that all of the acts of infamy where we have, uh, oh shit, where we have refrained from talking about Banjo Kazooie have been successes. And the one act of infamy where we very uh, indulgently talked at length about that Easter egg that I found with my friend in Banjo Kazooie, that one failed. So instead of talking about Banjo Kazooie, we will talk about another one of my favorite N64 games. Body Harvest, holy fucking shit. Do you guys remember Body Harvest? That game absolutely fucking blew my mind because you could get, it was like a free roam game. You could get into different cars. Do you remember being able to get into different cars and you can get in like the bulldozer and drive around and oh shit, I just pulled the battery, <laughs> the back of my battery pack off of my, off of my wireless mouse. Body Harvest, in fact, I remember a few years ago, I, I got an N64 emulator so that I could try and play Body Harvest again. Oh. This is the Pan Arabic wireless service at 8 o'clock. The pressure continues to mount on Smash as they struggle to contain the burgeoning global crime wave that has now begun to affect the Middle East. A prominent oil sheik spoke out this afternoon. The outrage makes me question why all tech members are seeking our money to Smash when it's so obviously illiquid to protect our interests. Oh my god, that is the sweetest treat! Holy shit, we pulled it off! Look at that, we pulled it off! And I just now noticed as I was listening to that <clears throat> um, culturally insensitive radio broadcast, look at this, this is our notoriety. I was always wondering what this little thing, where, where was that, where was that helix going? I don't remember. Okay, anyway, fuck it, anyway. It was just going on a pleasure cruise, I think. But I was always wondering, because this always said harmless, but look at this, I'm a boss man now. I'm a boss man of 47. Good God almighty, holy moly, a boss man, a boss man. If that does not, if, the, if that does not lure Nigel Ewing out of his, um, out of his Sudanese opium den, well, actually, I don't, isn't the, I think the Sudan is in here somewhere. What else is it? Uh, out of his Lebanese opium den, then I don't fucking know what would. I absolutely don't. Okay, so, um, are there any other stuff? I guess these red ones are ones that we've completed. Are there any other stuff? I just said that. Okay, so let's send these guys... Well, actually, no, no, no. Let's leave these guys here. No, no, don't you do it! No, oh, fuck it, damn it. Come back. Come back, damn it. No, shit. Two. No, fuck me! Oh, it's so confusing. Okay, perfect. Fuck, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, pilot. Sorry. Sorry that you had to keep coming back, making those trips, pilot. Let's uh, send some more guys out here, and we will set it to plot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Who's trying to harsh my vibe? I'm just trying to make... Oh, shit, fuck, I do that every fucking time. Who's trying to harsh my mellow? Who's up here? Nope, it must be the back door. There must be a back door infiltrator. Oh, my God! Holy shit, look at these fucking guys. What happened? What's with these explosions? Did they blow up my door? They blew up my fucking door. Wait, why did they blow up this door but they didn't blow up that door? Why did they blow up this door if they didn't blow up that door? Did someone open this fucking door for them? I'll bet you fucking anything that that is exactly what happened. All right, fine. Elon, uh, this is kind of an emergency now. They, they have gotten past our blast doors. Elon, we will... Uh, we actually need your, uh, your expert menstruations immediately, please. Thank you. Red alert. Red alert. Why are these guys on fire? He's already dead. Oh, he's repairing. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Look at that. All right, so these guys are running away. Look at that. They could have gotten in and stolen a bunch of our shit, but they fucking didn't. You cowards. What exploded? Was there a tr I, I, I have not, I have not set any traps. I have not set a single trap. There is no reason for those guys to have been like, for one of those guys to have been killed in a fucking explosion. Oh my god, and it's a parade of magenta evilings. Come on, come on ladies, there we go. It's a parade of death. Ba 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 
ba ba ba. Oh, these guys are returning home. Look at that. It's a parade of it's a parade of death for our magenta evilings, and it's also a parade of life. A parade of life celebrating the lives of these guys. And while we are in a, a red alert situation, that is not stopping three of our guards, which is half of our entire guard population, from, from coming in here and enjoying a nice, a nice drippy, watery plate of Alfredo spaghetti and meatballs that this guy lovingly stirred for hours and hours with his bare hands. He just stuck his bare hands straight in this big pot of spaghetti and meatballs and of course it's um it's not even it's not even hot it's like room temperature spaghetti and meatballs it's got to be room temperature or else it would scald his bare hand as he whoa wait one cotton picking second what the fuck new goals new goals we haven't found Nigel Ewing yet was it enough to just increase our notoriety? Is there anybody in our smoking lounge? Is Nigel in there? No, it's just these fucking clowns. Where are you? Where are you on this side all by yourself? You didn't want to sit? Oh, well, you know, I guess it would be kind of awkward if like you were in a, you were at like a big table. If you were at a big table and like literally everyone was sitting on one side, that would be a little bit awkward. But at the same time, like, good luck not making awkward eye contact with this guy at all times with this fucking stranger. You don't know this guy. All right. Well, sure. I'll bite game. What is this new objective that we're looking at? Uh, Nigel Ewing, the CIA agent, has since gone rogue. Okay, this is... This is what we were working on already. Is there a new optional? Oh, look at this! A sacred Native American totem pole was looted by colonial administrators early in the 19th century. It was divided into four pieces which were dispersed to museums across the world. A tribal elder took umbrage at this desecration and placed a curse on each piece, a curse that can only be lifted by reuniting the totem pole pieces. On their own, each piece has a negative effect on nearby minions. Collect all four pieces and place them near each other to create the completed totem pole and enjoy its beneficial effects. Well, that is absolutely the most bizarre fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. It sounds like an episode of Tales from the Dark Side. I am not sure how uh, fervently I will pursue that, but I will, of course, keep it in mind because I do love totem poles. Uh, I especially loved cursed totem poles. I think if I had my own totem pole, this is, I've always fantasized about having my own totem pole, and the totem poles would be the characters from Elf. That would be my absolute fucking dream come true. If any of you guys are wood carvers or Native American totem pole artisans, uh, heed me well. I will pay you. I will gladly commission from you a totem pole where on the bottom, okay, where the bottom is Willie Tanner. You gotta have fucking Willie. He's the bottom. He's the foundation of the family. Uh, and right up from Willie, of course, uh, you've got Lynn, his doting wife. Um, and then, or no, Kate, fucking Kate, she says, no, Lynn is his daughter, Kate is his doting wife, um, next, the next highest level of support, and then above Kate, of course, is Lynn, who is right in the middle, stuck in the middle with you, she's not the oldest, not as, oh shit, I just fucking minimized by mistake, come on, come back, come back, baby, come back, you can blame it all on me. And then um, above Lynn, you've got Brian, Brian Tanner, of course, the youngest, the child, uh, the baby boy. And then on the very tippy top of the totem pole, everybody's fucking favorite, your favorite, my favorite, Alf. That would be so fucking cool. I would pay like at least $50 for a, I would estimate maybe six foot tall solid wood totem pole of the characters from Alf. And you will notice absent from the totem pole um, are <clears throat> the baby. The baby that was born in like the last fucking season. I don't even fucking remember the baby's name. I think it was like AJ or something stupid like that. I don't, I have no memory. Peter? What was the name of the baby from ALF? I have no fucking idea. It, it, because who gives a shit? It was really fucking weird seeing, I, I, I resented the baby because like, Kate was a pretty fucking, was, you, you know, you get an idea. Sitcom moms, you, you never feel like sitcom moms should look any different. I got the same, I got the same kind of, um, I got the same kind of cognitive dissonance when, um, when Patricia Heaton grew out her hair on Everybody Loves Raymond. 
Although I will say it was a vast improvement because I don't know if you guys enjoyed Everybody Loves Raymond as much as I did because I absolutely fucking adore Everybody Loves Raymond, especially the episode where uh, Ray's dad uh, hands out condoms on Halloween to the trick-or-treaters by mistake because he thought they were candy. Um, but oh my fucking god. It bewitches them! This fucking haunted spacesuit bewitches these people. Oh, I think we can lower our alert now. These fucking haunted plus-size spacesuit bewitches these people like nothing else. It casts a spell on them. They can do nothing while this plus-size spacesuit is here. Um, but anyways, but I don't know if you guys remember the first couple seasons of Everybody Loves Raymond. Patricia Heaton had like a really fucking weird, super short haircut. And then towards the end, uh, well, like towards, like in the middle, starting in the middle, and then throughout to the end, she had like a very, a, a much more respectable haircut. But you never expect sitcom, like sitcom leading ladies to change much. Like, okay, um, like Carrie Heffernan, prime example. Prime example, she never fucking once changed over the entire course of the show. When she got pregnant, she had a miscarriage, all right? That's how committed they were. Kate, she got pregnant, like, towards the last couple seasons, and it was fuck- it was just fucking weird seeing her big pregnant belly hobbling around the Tanner household. And then she has the baby, and it was just fucking awkward, because, like, the baby was such a minor- minor part of the show, but they- they tried to make it, like, a big deal. Like, I don't even fucking remember what the baby's name was. But that baby is not invited onto my totem pole. And you will also notice, not invited to my totem pole, are the Akmonics, any of the Akmonics, the- the husband or the wife. Um, I would begrudgingly accept the son, whose name I don't remember, the one who was like the little tough guy Guido with the, with the switchblade that had the crush on Lynn, because he was a real sassy, he was a real sassy guy. Oh, and you know what, also I would kind of, I would accept um, uh, Mr. Akmonic, um, because he was funny as hell. And you know what, you know what, actually no, the Akmonics, I would gladly invite the Akmonics. Okay, if you are a totem pole carver, let me, let me, let me revise my statement, I will commission a totem pole, one of the main characters from ALF, and I will commission a second totem pole of the Akmonic family. Alright, so that's a good way to make a little bit of extra scratch if you, oh shit, 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 fuck, hide! Perfect. Excellent, oh my god, perfect timing. My con, my, my, um... My totem pole, my totem pole commission request was exactly long enough for these cops to show up and for me to notice these cops and to do away with them quickly and rapidly, which is, which both of those words mean, this, mean the same thing. <laughs> I regret saying that. Anybody up here? That's right. Hide, hide, hide. Hide, hide, hide. Man, the more I think about that elf totem pole, the more I fucking want it. Holy fucking shit. That would be amazing. I gotta find, I gotta find a totem pole artisan. That would be really cool. Um, okay, so I guess really there's no more acts of infamy. These guys were plotting and we haven't really found any more unless we want to... It's gonna be one notoriety. I think the name of the game now is less doing stuff here. Maybe let's start moving into here and seeing if we can uncover any acts of infamy. Uh, we've already done this earplug, so let's start researching. God, I'm really hoping that there's an act of infamy that can be performed on the island of Madagascar. That would be a real sweet treat. Um, but anyways, so our heat is fucking sky high. Our heat is literally maxed out, except in the Midwest. Security network intruder detected, huh? Where are you? Oh, it's Eveline! Alright, let's see, let's see what happens. I hear the loudspeakers going off. Here comes the guard. What are you up to, guard? Oh, he's got his gun? Oh, there's Elon. Yes! This alert system is the greatest fucking thing to happen in this game since... I, oh, and she's fucking running away. What are you, you fucking coward? You coward, turn around and fight, Eveline. That's not the Eveline I know. That's right, chase him down. Chase him down. Look at that. His security, his security beret is fluttering in the breeze. Um, he's trying to shoot at her, but he's finding it difficult because he's got, like, one hand on his beret trying to keep it from flying off of his shiny bald head because everybody knows how slick bald heads are. And on this windy, on this windy, hot, windy desert day here on Sexy Plymouth Rock, he's got to do everything that he can to make sure that his beret stays on. Wait. Wait a minute. Are you fucking serious? Oh my fucking god. What the fuck was I thinking? Okay. <laughs> Alright, look at this! 
Oh my god, without even trying, I got like a huge, I've got like almost the majority of our base um, covered up by our security loudspeaker coverage. That is phenomenal. That's really fucking cool. Look at all these dead evilings. It's a parade of dead evilings. Oh shit, just bumped the microphone. Hardcore. It's a parade of dead evilings off, off to their great reward, which is to say our meat locker. Which is, oh boy, when was the last time we had difficulty with dead body storage? Because we suddenly are having a great deal of difficulty with dead body storage. Like, we've got room for one more dead body. And that's it. Maybe two. We might be able to fit another one on this rack, but holy shit, I can't fucking believe how fast these freezers filled up. This game, I guess it must be on like a timer. The longer that you go in this game, the more the more guards will show up, the more highly trained these these guards are, the better their guns are and shit. That's definitely something to consider. But but you know what? Oh my fucking god damn it! Look at all these people! Jesus fucking Christ almighty, can't, I wish we could have, like, outdoor security cameras. Why can't we have outdoor security cameras? Can we have outdoor security cameras? Oh, come on, just let me... His fucking hang glider animation isn't done yet. Okay. Kill tag issued. Spectacular. Great. <gasps> we can! Look at this! Oh! Oh my god, what a sweet treat! We can only put it... Holy shit! Wait, I can't put it there. Oh, that would be absolutely perfect. That would be the sweetest treat of all. But no, we've got to put it... Where are we supposed to put these damn... Oh, you put them out here in the desert sands. They're just sitting up on their rod and reel. Okay, all right, all right, that'll work for me. Beautiful, okay. Oh wow, that is so fucking cool, I can't believe it. Oh my god, that is such a handy, handy thing to have. Wow, that is phenomenal. So perfect, now we've got, oh, oh my god almighty, it's Bonnie Blue, Bonnie Blue, Gumby's dad's boyfriend. Okay, here we go, let's get him. Let's get him, let's get him. Here we go. Red alert, by the way. In case it wasn't clear already, there's B Gumby's dad's black boyfriend. Oh boy, I wonder if this is awkward. Gumby's dad's Bonnie Blue boyfriends and Gumby's dad's black boyfriend meet at last. I wonder, I wonder if they know, I wonder if they know that Gumby's dad is sleeping with both of them. Because that might be a little bit awkward. I mean, unless it's, unless it's an open relationship. I mean, really, it's, <clears throat> I mean, really, what's... Oh shit, hostile presence detect- Oh, Tommy! Tommy, no, don't- Oh, he had barely gotten out of Ellis Island before he was shot dead by these Bonnie Blue Daddy- Gumby's dad's boyfriends. What the hell were you thinking, guys? Okay, here's the guard. There we go, he- The guard is dead. Oh my god, this is fucking intense. Wasn't I just talking about how we have no- absolutely no room for fucking, um, for dead bodies these days? Where's the rest of my guards? What's going on down here? Oh my fucking god almighty. There are so many people. Well, seriously, where's all my guards, though? Guys, get up. Get up, go. Up and at them. Up and at them. Okay, alright. Well, you know what, actually, we, we've taken down, we've taken down half of them by now. We're not losing too many. We're, for every person that falls, oh yeah, look at that. All these guys are up here to save the day. I think, I think we're, we're, we're on... I don't think we're gonna have too much, too much difficulty here. Oh, and that guy's just punching him out. Army of one, my friend. Army of one. Is there? I don't see anybody. Oh shit, but look at that. Oh my god, there are so many fucking dead bodies now. There is no way we can store all of these dead bodies. Oh my. Oh, and look at these assholes. I forgot all about these assholes. Okay, come on, let's take care of these guys. Ah, oh, shit. Where's where is everybody else? Doing where's Elon? Elon, come on. We got to we got to take care of these guys before we end this episode, Elon. We're already over time. Okay, come on. Kick these guys asses, please. Please Elon. These handy mannies are not are not cutting it. Oh my god. Okay, here come the guards, though. These guards, and plenty of handy mannies are backing them up. There's another guard. There's two more handy mannies. Okay, oh shit, that guard is fucking toast, though. These 
green, these greenies are very, very, very difficult guys to get. Okay, we've got three on one, perfect. We're starting to knock them out, we've got good cover. They're taking cover behind our stack of Velveeta cheese, our stack of American style processed Velveeta cheese. Oh, well, my God, hand to hand combat. Tilda's, Tilda's, this is the last thing we need, you fucking t Oh boy. That fucking guy beat the shit out of that guy. He had a fucking semi automatic bazooka rifle, bazooka Joe gun from hell, and all that guy did was, hey, bazooka Joe. How about this? And he just does the thing where like he wiggles his finger in front of his face and the guy's like and the guy starts like moving his head around, tracking the motion of the finger, and he just goes, whoa, 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 boop, and like pokes him straight in the eyes, and Bazooka Joe's all like and he like it, his eyeballs hurt so much he starts like flailing at his eyes and like trying to gouge his eyeballs out to stop the pain. And like while he was doing that, our very own handy man, he just goes, Alright, time for me to make my move and he just shoots him straight in the temple. Bam, bam, down he goes. Down he goes like a sack of taters. Like a dirty sack of taters. Excellent. Wow, that was a thrilling conclusion to this episode of Evil Genius. Fantastic. Okay, so, so next time we're gonna keep at it. Uh, we're gonna keep working on these acts of infamy. Let's see, we've got 10 people out here. We'll, we'll set them to plotting. We'll keep, at, we'll keep working on these acts of infamy. We'll see if we can shake this guy out, try and get our notoriety up, because I think that more than anything will help. And uh, we will also try and expand our base size so that we can get more guards. I think earlier, well, when we were previously expanding our base size, we were trying to get more manis. Now I think we need to get more guards, because these guards really um, are able to take a pretty fucking serious pounding and dish one out as well. So we will do that, we'll replace this door, we'll do all kinds of fucking shit next time. So again, thank you very much for joining me today, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye!